Geology rocks. Of all the natural wonders that exist in the world, spectacular rock formations have to be some of the most stunning sights we've ever seen. Mother Nature really blessed us with some epic stone miracles, and they aren't going anywhere anytime soon. Nope, most of these formations have been around for thousands, if not millions of years. If only these rocks could talk. From psychedelic salt caves to a legendary bridge built by giants, these are the 15 most unreal rock formations. Lava at the bottom of the valley cooled slowly. As the lava cooled, it contracted and cracked in even patterns. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to Missing Files, and click the notification bell for the best daily videos. Split Apple Rock. This awesome attraction is a geological rock formation that can be found in Tasman Bay, right off the coast of South Island, New Zealand. It's called the Split Apple Rock because of its uncanny resemblance to a piece of fruit that's been split open right through the middle. Have you ever seen a rock quite like this before? We certainly haven't. This spectacular boulder is also known as Token Gawa, which means burst open rock in Maori. As Maori legend goes, there were two gods who were fighting over a large boulder when it crashed to the ground and formed the unreal rock formation that you can see today. Great story, right? However, scientists seem to have another idea for how split apple rock came to be, which is that over about 120 million years, water has been slowly seeping in through fissures in the gigantic boulder. As the water freezes, it expands, which is possibly what caused the rock to split into two in this peculiar manner. Now, if you want to take a trip to see Token Gawa for real, this awesome attraction is actually accessible by wading up to it, depending on the tides. Or you could even kayak up to it for a fun day out. <laughs> Balancing Rock This mind-bending rock is precariously perched atop the cliffs overlooking St. Mary's Bay in the Bay of Fundy, Nova Scotia. Affectionately nicknamed Nature's Time Post by the locals, this incredible balancing rock is a vertical column of basalt standing tall at 20 feet high and 4 feet wide. How does it remain perfectly balanced so close to the ledge of the cliff? Maritime legend says that the Canadian fishermen tried to topple this strange stone with ropes and boats and failed. That's right, this stubborn rock is totally stuck in place. So what is the real deal with this random rock formation? Scientists say that the balancing rock is part of a larger basalt unit that erupted, covering the fundy area in fluid lava. As the lava trickled out and cooled, it cracked and formed seven-sided column-like structures. How awesome! If you want to pay a visit to the legendary rock, it can be accessed from via a stunning two-and-a-half-kilometer nature trail and at the top of a 235-step staircase. Don't forget your camera! <laughs> Fairy Chimneys, Cappadocia. Next up, we have one of Turkey's most popular natural wonders. These enchanting fairy chimneys of Cappadocia ascend from the plateau of central Anatolia, forming giant pillars that stand 130 feet tall. This magical landscape has to be one of the most mythical and beautiful looking locations we've ever seen. In fact, it's one of the jewels of Turkey, and every year millions of tourists visit the region to explore its beauty either by foot or by hot air balloon. So how did such an unreal rock formation come to be? Around three to four million years ago, there was a series of volcanic eruptions that rumbled throughout the central Anatolian area, forming these awesome fairy chimneys, or as some locals like to call them, cotton castles. How cute. The breathtaking area of Cappadocia spans a distance of 5,000 kilometers, and the name comes from the Persian word Katpaktukya, which translates as the land of beautiful horses. And that's not the only fascinating fact about this natural wonder. Did you know that there are actually a multitude of underground cities in Cappadocia? Yeah, the soft volcanic rock is perfect for tunneling and building. And while you can spend the night in some of these caverns, lots of private property, we wonder what's down there. We'd like to know, wouldn't you? <laughs> Landscape Arch. This spectacular arch is the longest of all the natural rock arches located in Arches National Park, Utah, in the United States, and there are a lot of arches to choose from. Yep, there are at least 2,000 or so natural sandstone arches in this weird and wonderful national park, and each one of them is a glorious sight. 
We are, however, talking about the most superior of them all, the Landscape Arch. It's one of the longest natural arches on the entire planet, and it spans a whopping 290 feet. This spindly bridge is a popular tourist attraction in the Devil's Garden area of the park and is a must-see for anyone traveling through Utah. And you might want to plan a visit sooner rather than later. That's right, the epic landscape arch has made it to a ripe old age and is approaching the end of its life cycle. What a shame. In 1991, a 73-foot chunk of rock broke away from the most narrow section of the aging landscape arch. Followed by two more rocks in June 1995, two more rocks fell off measuring 47 feet and 30 feet respectively. There's some pretty massive slabs. We hope Landscape Arch is around for many more years, but there's a very real chance we could lose this natural wonder sooner than we think. <laughs> Marble Caves of Chile This has got to be one of the most visually gorgeous rock formations that we've ever laid eyes on. We're talking about Capillas de Marmo, the Marble Caves of Chile. They're a simply stunning natural wonder that Instagram dreams are made of. Yet these highly aesthetic caves are located in the General Carrera Lake, right in the heart of Patagonia, nestled snugly on the border between Chile and Argentina. This breathtaking attraction is formed of three main rock formations, the cathedral, the chapel, and the cave. As you paddle up to caves by kayak or one of the local boat tours, a range of mysterious craggy rocks seem to float of their own accord on the lake. It's only when you enter the mouth of the marble caves that you truly take in the real majesty of these colorful, psychedelic rock faces. This awesome vision is the result of over 6,000 years of waves crashing against calcium carbonate. Oh, and here's a top travel tip for you. These hypnotizing marble caves are at their most beautiful between September and February, when the glacial ice melts into the lake, turning the water a brilliant turquoise. We would love to check this out. How about you guys? <laughs> Al Nasla Rock Formation There's an old saying that there are no straight lines in nature, but this is definitely not the case when it comes to the baffling Al Nasla Rock Formation. Yup, this astonishing sandstone boulder is split completely down the middle with laser-like precision. Except this formation is 4,000 years old, way before we had any kind of laser technology to go around slicing things in half. This has led many conspiracy theorists to point towards the existence of ancient aliens in Saudi Arabia's Tama Oasis. Even stranger still, this megalith seems to defy gravity by balancing perfectly on two small mounds, despite the heavy weight of each individual boulder. So, what exactly is going on with this weird monument? Well, scientists have a few ideas, and funny enough, none of them involve aliens. The experts expect that the cause of the precise split is tectonic motion. They believe that the most likely explanation for the unnatural Al Nasla formation is that a tiny shift in the earth between the supporting beam of one half of the rock caused the rock to split perfectly in two. However this miraculous formation occurred, you have to agree that it's pretty spectacular. <laughs> Giant's Causeway This northern Irish landmark is the stuff of legend. The jagged stepping stones are said to have been laid down by the Irish mythological giant Finn McCool, who was trying to make his way across to Scotland in order to battle his arch enemy, Bean and Donner. Pretty cool story, right? Well, if you don't believe in the local folklore, then you might be a little more interested to hear the real facts behind the Giant's Causeway formation. Made up of approximately 40,000 basalt rocks, this natural walkway occurred during the crystallization of molten lava that was extruding into the sea. This happened around 50 to 60 million years ago, making the Giant's Causeway a true ancient wonder. These epic hexagonal columns face out towards the North Atlantic Ocean and can be viewed either from the clifftops for an awesome bird's eye view or by treading in the footsteps of giants across the actual rocks themselves. <laughs> fly Geyser Pretty fly for a geyser. This dazzling rock formation is located on private land in Nevada's remote Black Rock Desert, about a third of a mile from State Route 34. 
Yep, not a lot of people know that this unique geyser is there, but it's totally worth taking a trip off the beaten path to see with your own eyes. The geyser expels boiling hot water jets that reach about 5 feet high and is entirely geothermally heated. But this is not an entirely natural formation. Despite its otherworldly Martian exterior, the geyser actually began its life as a man-made well that was drilled in the early 1900s. Over time, countless eruptions have dissolved minerals around the chute, causing its weird and weathered appearance. As well as erosion, a colony of thermophilic algae that thrives in the extreme heat have given the fly geyser a shocking red and green surface that stands out against the sandy terrain of the Nevada desert. In June 2016, the nonprofit Burning Man Project, known for their outrageous Anything Goes annual festival, purchased the 3,800-acre fly ranch including the geyser, for $6.5 million, opening it up to nature walks and tours to the public. We wonder if they have a music festival planned for this outlandish location. Now that would be cool. <laughs> Torik Hatten. Wow, this peculiar mountain is like the world's largest donut. You have to see it with your own eyes to believe it, but in the center of this gigantic Norwegian mountain is a circular hole, the size of a cathedral. The iconic Torget Hatten mountain is located on the island of Torget in the Braunoy municipality of Nordland County. The granite rock formation is especially famous for the natural tunnel that runs directly through its center. As you can imagine, there's an epic Nordic legend that comes attached to this weird natural wonder. According to folklore, a gigantic troll named Hesmanen was chasing a beautiful girl called Likamoya. The troll, realizing that he would not catch the girl, fired an arrow to stop her in her tracks, but the troll king of Somna boldly threw his hat into the arrow's path to save the girl's life. This hat transformed into the Torgahatan Mountain, destined to be punctured with a hole in the middle forevermore. Of course, for every legend, there's scientific data that suggests another explanation. And in this case, the 520-foot-long, 66-foot-wide, and 115-foot-high tunnel was believed to have been formed by ice flow during the Scandinavian Ice Age. Hmm, we like the troll story better. Abandoned Russian salt mines. Who knew mines could be this trippy? These abandoned psychedelic salt caverns can be found 650 feet below the Russian city of Yekaterinburg and are only accessible with a government permit. The swirling, technicolored patterns are the result of layers upon layers of the mineral carnalite, and the walls of this magical mine range in color from bright yellow and white to deep reds and even blue. These rock formations hidden deep under the ground date back millions of years. The glorious mineral deposits were left behind after an ancient salty sea dried up, forming the awesome patterns that still exist to this day. While it's incredibly difficult to access these mines, one Russian photographer ventured into the unknown to capture some extraordinary snapshots of this unreal natural wonder. The photographer said, The mines are huge and stretch many kilometers in width and length. A single tunnel can be over four miles long. It's hard to describe how it feels being so far down. You lose all track of time and the air is very dry. You always feel thirsty. Abandoned mines are notoriously dangerous, so we think we'll skip this adventure and just admire the photographs. Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> More rocky boulders. These giant spherical boulders are a collection of mind-blowing rock formations that can be found scattered all along the stretch of Koiko Beach on the Otago coast of New Zealand. These boulders have been exposed along the beach due to the erosion of mudstone, which reveals these perfectly formed balls, known to geologists as subterranean concretions. These mega boulders are made up of mud, fine silt, clay, and cemented by calcite. Don't they look amazing? These legendary boulders are protected in a scientific reserve, but the local Maori people have an interesting origin story for the Maoreki stones. They say that these boulders are the remains of eel baskets and other fishing pots that have been washed up on the shore from the wreck of Arai Teoru, a large sailing canoe. Danxia landform. 
The exquisite rainbow mountains of the Dangxian Geopark in China are one of the most dazzling landscapes on the planet. The Chinese term Dangxia refers to a vermilion sun glow, which is the perfect description for this unbelievable landform. And this work of art has been a work in progress for quite some time. 24 million years, to be exact. Layers of different colored sandstone and minerals have been squeezed together for millennia and then shaped and formed by shifting tectonic plates. And the final image is a real masterpiece. In fact, this breathtaking landmark has been an official UNESCO World Heritage Site since 2010. Yup, the Danxia landform is a once-in-a-lifetime trip and one of those truly precious natural wonders that will probably remain on the Earth long after we're gone. We can only hope we get the chance to soak up the view one day. <laughs> Devil's Tower this stunning natural landmark was declared the USA's first national monument in 1906, and scientists can't explain how and why it rose up out of the ground, considering it's just in the middle of fields. That's right, even the experts can't figure out why this enormous peak is the only formation of its kind in the area, surrounded by flat plains. Think you recognize this towering formation from somewhere? Well, if you're a sci-fi fan, you may have just seen it before. The Devil's Tower is so freaky that it was even featured in the supernatural Hollywood blockbuster, Close Encounters of the Third Kind. We can see why they use this unusual location, because it certainly looks like an alien landing pad. But this ancient landmark isn't just a set from a movie. This staggering natural wonder is a sacred place to the Northern Plains tribes. It's known by many traditional names, such as Bear's Tippy, Tree Rock, and Bear Lodge and the terrific tower is home to many important ceremonies and rituals. While it's closed part of the year to honor and respect these long-standing traditions, the Devil's Tower is also very popular with rock climbers who scale the whopping 1,267-foot Wyoming rock. So guys, would you dare take a trip up the Devil's Tower? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ooh, ooh. Folding Rocks we knew that you could fold paper and fold your clothes, but did you know that rocks can actually be folded too? We had no idea. Yet these folding rocks of Diplono Patrice are located near the Agios Pavlos beach on the south of Crete Island. These bizarre boulders look like they belong on another planet. It's not often that you can see amazing rock formations like this one on Earth, but Diplono Patrice is an outstanding anomaly with a fascinating history. These folding rocks are actually alternations of different limestone layers that used to rest in a horizontal fashion at the bottom of the sea. It was fold tectonics, triggered by the drift of the African plate against the Eurasian plate that formed the alien-like rocks that we can see today. Strange, but true. Uluru for our final unreal rock formation, we're heading out to the Down Under, to this very famous sandstone monolith in central Australia. The awe-inspiring Uluru, also known as Ayers Rock, is sacred to the Aboriginal people who take care of this astounding landmark. It wasn't until the 1930s when this formation started to become known to outsiders of the area that tourists began to visit this spectacular rock. Out in the middle of the bush, this natural wonder appears to change color at different time of day and year. And over the years, people far and wide have fallen in love with its magical quality to glow red at dawn and sunset. Yep, Uluru is incredibly unique and is known as an Enselberg, which literally means island mountain. You see, this enormous red rock seems to pop out of nowhere in an otherwise vast, flat terrain. It's a magnificent site and one that has attracted millions of visitors from all over the world. However, authorities decided that from October 2019, Uluru would be permanently closed to climbing out of respect to the rock, the surrounding land, and the indigenous people. The director of the Central Land Council, which represents indigenous people in Central Australia, said that their decision was righting a historic wrong. We hope people continue to treat Uluru with the respect it deserves for many years to come. What a remarkable rock. So which one of these amazing rock formations have you stuck on your bucket list? We'd love to see these awesome geological wonders in real life. What a wonderful world we live in. Let us know which of these unreal rocks was your favorite by leaving your comments below. And don't forget to smash that like button if you enjoyed this video. 
You can also subscribe to the Missing Files channel so that you never miss another video. We'll see you next time.